Hey guys, Apple iPod Sender here coming to you with another video. Um, as you can see, my computer looks like a Mac. It's actually a Windows Vista. It even has this thing, but it's a Windows Vista. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your computer look like this. Um, the, there's like a couple things that you're going to need that I supply all in this package right here. It's going to have Finder Bar, the Theme Selector, which makes your um, your taskbar look like this. Uh, Mac clock, the desktop background, the icon, I mean the sound of uh, the cursor pack, uh, the object dock, the object dock theme for this and like this little divider, um, left sider so when you open like a, a thing your buttons are on the left and yeah that's it so I'm gonna reset my computer just so it goes back to the Windows Vista theme so I'm gonna pause the video and get back to you in a little bit okay okay now that I reset my computer back to the original state you're first gonna want to open the package that I put the link in the description for um you can start off by opening the Mac theme And then make a new folder on your desktop and just extract all this in here. Okay. Almost done, and we're done. Uh, close that, uh, and then um, so you'll have this stuff in here. Um, oh snap! I forgot to reset my cursor. <laughs> all right. Well, first you can. These are all your cursors right here, and to get to that, you just right-click on your desktop. Uh, personalize. Uh, cursor. Mass pointers, um, and then a little window should pop up. Hang on. Uh, uh, what you're gonna do is do browse, and then you're gonna set your your cursors, which will be on your desktop, and then new folder, sounds and cursors. These will be your cursors. Um. Since this one's selected for normal select, you're going to look for the one that says normal select and just double click it. And then you just do that all the way down and then you could hit apply. Just uh, And then hit OK. Uh, so then you got your black cursor going on. And then you're going to want to open that up again. And then you're going to hit that. And I always run it as administrator. And then hit allow. And I already did the research and grab uh, and got the theme for you, and I put it in the style, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, this is gonna open up a little box right there, and then so what this is gonna do, it's gonna change your theme, basically your taskbar, to um, look like an o Mac OS X, and even like your Windows. So what you can do is unlock your taskbar, drag it up to the top. And then lock it again. Uh, click Vista OX9, basic startup, I mean basic style, and then click startup. If you don't want your computer to look like a Mac every time you start up, then don't click startup. And then just hit apply. And then let it do its thing. Alright, now you're done with that. Um, okay, what else was in here? Uh, you don't have to worry about that. All right, now go back into this folder. Um, the next thing you're gonna want to do is open up the Object Dock installer, and then um, you're gonna want to install this right here. Just click on that, and then go through the installation process for installing Object Dock. Um, this is what it's going to look like. Um, I'm not going to 
do this because I already have it. Just go through next, next. I'm just going to cancel because I already did that. And then just let that install. So then you're going to come into here and find it. It should be under all programs. Um, start doc and then object doc and then just click on object doc right here. All right. Now while that's loading, um, we could go into, uh, let's do finder bar. All right, just click on finder bar, um, and then you're going to install this, install finder bar, and just let that install. And then, so you're going to come into here, and once that's done installing, go under here, land Vermesser, and then just click on that. Um, you'll have oh crap, finder bar, and then finder bar engine right here and then this will change that so it looks like the Mac OS X finder bar right there and then next you could just do this real quick just put that in there actually to make things neat, nice and neat um, just right click on that set as desktop background that'll change your background to that and then uh, next you're gonna want to do your clock change that to the Mac clock so click on Mac clock um, open that, install, same thing as the way it's in finder bar is, it's in the same place as finder bar too, under right here, and then it's called Mac clock, and then um, Mac clock, and then this will change that to the Mac clock, how it is, and then, let's see, left cider. See now this is like the Mac clock. Um, you're just gonna install this. I mean, no, you don't even have to install it. You just run it. So you're gonna want to extract this down into the folder, so you have it all in one place. You can exit out of that, um, and then just run it. And what this will do is get these buttons right here, move all the way over to your left side. So it's like the Mac. Okay, so when you're done with that, you're gonna want to let's see. I think we're done. Um, I I totally forgot how to do the stack docklet thing. Um, it's not all that important. Um, all it is is for these to fan out like that. And yeah, so what this is right here, find a bar address book. I grabbed all my programs that are similar to like what it sounds like. Like for instance, um, the iCal is really just the Windows uh, calendar. I dragged it down, and then I we'll just do I just spoke for this case. Um, doc entry properties, and then change image, and then um, fuck. oh, you're gonna have to add these images. I forget how to do that too. But um, just this this is the icon pack, so you can change your icons. Um, so just look up how to change your icons on uh, Object Doc and how to add Stock Doclet 2.0, because that's what this one is. So basically that's it. And this was how to make your computer look like a Mac. Thanks for watching. Bye.